Hi, welcome to your neighborhood pharmacy. Hi, I've got a prescription for diabetes test strips. How much is the copay? Well, it depends on your type of commercial insurance and factoring in your yearly spend, subtracting the deductibles, also depending on your monthly Ugh, allowance. Why can't there be a better option? Or you could try Contour Next test strips, a 35 counts only $19.99 over the counter and proven to be highly accurate. Go to contournext.com slash radio to see if over the counter strips are a more affordable option for you. Hmm, I think I'll try Contour Next. People say he ain't no good And I'm crazy as a loon Cause I shave my head in the morning And pick guitar in the afternoon Just like old Chief and Charlie I like to lay around in the shade Well I ain't got no money But you better believe I got it made Cause I ain't asking nobody for nothing if I can't get it on my own If you don't like the way I'm living Just leave this bald-headed country boy alone What's up, folks? Thank you all for tuning in to the Josh Terry Podcast. Hey, I want to start off this show by telling you about some of our new sponsors. Global Net Insurance Agency, Mr. Dusty Lewis over in Eastman, Georgia. You can reach him right now at 478-374-7977. This is who I got insurance with, folks. Mr. Dusty has took care of me for an extremely long time. Uh, even when I'm late on my insurance, son, I can message him on Facebook. He always takes care of me and his staff there are just awesome over at Global Net. So please do me a favor. Y'all reach out to them now and tell them that I sent you. Here's another new one for y'all. Lori's Dive In. She feeds me quite regularly. She's over in Alamo, Georgia. She has brought me everything from this amazing chicken salad to these Philly cheesesteaks. Dude, they're, I'm telling you, they're just really, really good. Uh, full menu on site. They cater. They do carry out. Just really cool family atmosphere. Every time I've been there or they've brought me stuff, uh, you just can't beat it. And the price is really good. And Miss Lori is just awesome. Uh, thank you all for becoming a sponsor on the show. I'm always excited when somebody that I went to school with turns out to be successful and is doing well for themselves. Shout out to Mr. Dustin Smith. Dr. Dustin Smith and owner of Middle Georgia Total Health Center. He's my chiropractor. Uh, I'm always standing up tall. I'm always feeling good, and it's because of this guy. He's got an office in Eastman at 285 Plaza Ave, and uh, he also has a location at 126 North 2nd Street in Cochran. You can call his Eastman office at 478-6011 or the Cochran office at 478 9348888 zero one look them up on facebook at middle georgia total health or email them mid ga total health at gmail.com go check out dr smith and all of his staff uh he's gonna get you feeling right you're not gonna be disappointed to go get mr smith's hands on you i told y'all the other day about my guy over at oxley performance computers Matt Oxley has took care of all of our computer needs. He's got me set up with a whole new PC. Uh, my soundboard, my everything is running way better. Uh, I did not know how bad off I was just getting something from Best Buy. This dude has hooked me up to where my laptop's better, my desktop's better, everything that I needed, he hooked me up with, and he did it for a damn good price. Y'all go check out Matt Oxley at Oxley Performance Computers at, and here's his website at oxleypc.com. That's where you can find him at on Facebook as well. Go look my dude up and tell him to hook you up. I told y'all we had several new sponsors on the show, and right here is the last one. So y'all hold tight, and then we're going to roll into the show. This one right here is why I've been looking so damn good, though. Miss Reagan. Reagan rise fitness she helps men and women lose fat and build muscle she customized nutrition and training plans workouts can be done in the gym or at home 
she has hooked me up, told me what to eat, told me how much to eat, and also gave me a workout plan that doesn't hurt my body. You can find her at Facebook at Reagan, that's R-A-E-G-A-N, last name M-I-L-H-O-L-E-N. And her IG, R-A-E-G-A-N-A-R-I-S-E, fitness. Go check her out. Tell her I sent you. And last but not least, and I'm very excited to tell you all about this lady, uh, Miss Jessica Wolf over at Lovely Lotus. Lovely Lotus is probably about to start making all of our shirts, hats, cups, pins, etc., etc., etc. Uh, you can get in touch with her through any of her social media. Just look up Lovely Lotus. She made a bunch of stuff for me, uh, a couple sample things or whatever, because we've had problems getting uh, the merchandise and the stuff that we wanted. And I'm telling y'all, just go to my Facebook and look up Jessica Wolf and Lovely Lotus. Uh, check her out now because the stuff that she sent me jam up. I absolutely love it. And uh, from now on, I imagine this lovely young lady is going to be the person that's doing our gear. So check her out, Jessica Wolf, Lovely Lotus. Now, let's see who today's guests are. What's up, folks? Hey, so uh, I was supposed to have some guests on tonight, but I just got stood the fuck up. Can you believe that? Uh, it's much like my dating life, to be honest with you. And uh, I don't have any more time to sit around and wait on these folks. And these folks were my Tuesday show today. Uh, best wishes to y'all. You know, uh, I found somebody's account extremely funny. Uh, they're kind of new into uh, social media stuff. And uh, I was like, hey, let's have them on. Their videos had literally made me and my friends die laughing. And uh, I just am not going to sit here and wait on them anymore. Uh, especially when you get no text back. That's probably going to be something I'm going to talk about for a few minutes. But I'm also going to talk about me having a fucking opinion and uh, you guys getting mad about it. So the past couple shows that I've done, past two, uh, you know, I've shared shit. And I shared it because I wanted to talk about internet bullying and how it can go wrong. And it shouldn't be happening in the first place because you get a bunch of dumbasses um, not the person I had on the show yesterday. Mind in the shadows, I actually respect the dude. Thought he was really cool. If if any of y'all are out there giving this dude shit, uh, don't listen to my show again. Um, I don't really know his intentions to start off with, but I know he was a solid dude to me. He was nice as hell. And, uh, you know, he was able to see both sides of the argument. He was cool with me. Plus, I'll tell you this about that cat. That cat from uh, whatever organization he's associated with, they made a $300 donation to Mission 22 um, to where we're trying to raise some money for them last night. So that dude is solid as fuck with me. Leave him the fuck alone. Uh, but what I do want to address is some of these, let's just call them asshats, because I don't like the word stalker. I don't like people that literally think that their opinion is more valuable than yours. Especially when you think it's more valuable than mine. Uh, I have no respect for that. I got my phone blew up by about three different people yesterday after I did that show. And especially the other day when I did the show with, uh, I can say her name now, Coco. When I did the show with her, you got people who want to talk shit, people who want to tra talk trash. But I just want to make this super clear to you guys. There's four million fucking shows in this world. Podcasts. Even though we're ranked, you know, in the top 1%. There's four other million ones you can go fucking listen to. Don't be messaging me giving me shit about my opinion and what I put on this show. I don't come to your job or your basement where you're down there jacking it or whatever the fuck you're doing and tell you how to do it or what to do with your job. So leave me the fuck alone. If you think I'm the person that you need to state your personal opinions to, you've thought wrong. I'm not that guy. Uh, the past couple shows I've done has just been a story to me. I asked the listeners on here all the time. I did a show like two weeks ago. And I literally stated on that show, hey, let me know what you guys want. Y'all tagged Coco, or you tagged me and her stuff, a lot. And you know what? I had her on. She ain't my friend. She ain't my homie. Uh, she's an acquaintance. She's somebody who... You know, I just met. She didn't know who the fuck I was either, by the way. 
So that's double-sided. I'm not really her homie either. But I ain't got nothing against this person. I ain't got nothing against the people that are hating on her. I've had very nice people that have been in my inbox on Instagram. Extremely nice folks. Um, shout out to them, by the way, if you're listening to this. Some of y'all came to me with nothing but respect and courtesy and were extremely nice. And those are the people that I love dealing with. The people who I don't like dealing with are the people that think that their opinion is more important than anybody else's. The rest of you asshats that tagged me and stuff on social media last night, because y'all tagged the shit out of me, I'm just going to tell you, I don't give a fuck. Your opinion doesn't matter to me, but also my opinion shouldn't matter to you. This is equal opportunity around here, Hoss. If I don't give a shit about you, you shouldn't give a shit about me. Turn this the fuck off. That's the first thing I'm salty about today. This is like a salty Tuesday. Maybe that's something I should start doing. It's just getting really aggravated and salty and pissed off and everything on Tuesday. And then I've had some people reach out about being on the show. I'm not going to read you their names or the message that I got from them, but pretty much they were just fucking dicks. And they were pretty much like, hey, I don't understand, you know, why you won't have me on the show when I've been on radio. Well, if you can't tell... I really don't give a shit about terrestrial radio after getting fired from it. And I don't like usually the people involved in it. So I made this post on social media earlier. I am not politically correct. I do not pretend to be. Nor do I want to be. I don't work for soft ass people in terrestrial radio anymore. And I can say whatever the hell I want. And have who I want on my show. I was not made for you snowflakes. A soft ass person opinion does not matter to me at all. If you listen to my show and you get offended, find another show. Don't fucking complain to me. There is a reason why mine is ranked in the top 1% in the world and your local radio stations are struggling to keep the lights on. That is a fact, by the way. If you go look and see how shitty terrestrial radio is doing, that's a fact. That's not just me being a dick and me being salty or bitter about being fired from it. Go look at it. I keep it real and they do as they're told. They don't even listen to the listener anymore or play what they want played. Jamie Johnson just went off on a local radio station this past weekend for them wanting to be on stage with him. They were clout chasing, but they don't even play his music. Hey, we're taking a little break from the show. Thank y'all for listening to the Josh Terry Podcast, but I want to tell you about the newest hey, sponsor. where'd you get that new jewelry and shades? They're nasty. Well, that's the sponsor, Gracie. If you would quit interrupting me, I could tell everybody about TrendHim.com. They just hooked me up with all kind of nice watches, bracelets, a couple necklaces, some other stuff trying to make me look like a rock star. If you've ever seen the way I dress when I go out, I dress loud. And these folks have got the best accessories possible to match up everything from turquoise to skulls to crosses to whatever. They all look awesome. They got over 6,000 products. They got eight different house brands. They've helped customers in over 28 countries. I promise you, fellas and ladies, they got something for each and every one of you. Go check them out now at trendhim.com. Use the promo code RAISINGRACE to get 15% off of your order. Trendhim.com. My mom is 81, and she's having trouble walking, taking care of herself, and remembering things. There are expectations. My mom feels I'm her daughter, and I should be able to do for her. Sometimes the help they need is more than we can do alone. Care makes it easy to find senior caregivers who live nearby and know how to help. I love my mom, but I, I need some help. The best decisions are made with care. Find help for your mom or dad at care.com. So he gave them the business. We don't do that shit around here. I promote the artists that I believe in. I promote the people that I believe are good people and have great stories. If you're going to get mad because I won't have you on my show, do this. Go try your fucking local radio station. Maybe they'll have you on. Here, I only want real country music. And more importantly, I want real men and women. That's the only folks I allow on my show. Around here, I chase legacy. Not everyone's approval. If you don't understand the difference in that, I can't do shit for you. 
God's honest truth, I can't. And I just, I'm tired of it. The re- my show has succeeded. My show has done well. And I'm damn proud of that. I've worked my ass off. I've, I've went in debt like a son of a bitch because of it. But eventually we're going to get a fucking payday. Good payday. And everybody associated with me is going to be extremely happy. Extremely happy. And what's crazy is I always look for little signs in life. I always look that I'm doing the right thing or I'm going the right way. I had messaged uh, a bar in Nashville that is my favorite bar pretty much. I love going to Live Oak. I had messaged the owner, Hasten, and I have been like, hey, look, because me and him have talked about it before anyway. Thank you, Lee Tucker and Dustin Heron for hooking me up with him, by the way. I probably talked to him about a year ago about this. And I was like, look, eventually I want to do shows at bars. I want to do it to where I can invite people there for a stop in, whatever. Let's do it in the morning so you don't have a big crowd or anything there. It doesn't take away from what you're doing. But it's just cool to be able to do stuff like that. As I make that post and, and put it out there earlier, Hasten, Hasten gets back to me really fucking quick. So thank you for that. Y'all please check out Live Oak in, in Nashville. On September the 1st, I'm doing a show there on stage with some of my friends and some social media folks and some musicians. We're going to cross-brand the shit out of it. We're going to promote Live Oak. That'll be an official sponsor of the show that day. But also, Extreme Party Bus of Nashville is going to be an official sponsor that day. They're taking me, some of my friends, some people from social media out that night. And, uh, you know, I just very much appreciate them. They have been fucking awesome. And uh, the fact that they want to do anything with us is cool. But, you know, I am just right now ecstatic about the Live Oak stuff. So, I want to say this to anybody that's listening. On that day, whatever time we start recording, 10, 30, 11 in the morning, I'm going to try to get out of there by 1 o'clock, 1 30. If you want to stop by, even if it's for 5, 10 minutes, play a song, talk about the show, and I know you, I want you to. Come have a drink with us, come bullshit for a few minutes. I'm going to set up five six mics i'm gonna have the the guitar cable plugged in so you can actually play something on the show and uh you know we can make it more than just about me because i don't like stuff what if it's just about me if you can't tell it's not that i'm the most humble son of a bitch on the planet i believe if you don't believe in yourself if you don't have confidence in yourself then nobody else is going to so i tend I tend to show a little confidence, a little cockiness, a little arrogance. But it's because I think I'm good at what I do and I stand up for the right things in life. So I just want to thank Live Oak, Hasten, Extreme Party Bus of Nashville. Um, You know, when I got fired a couple years ago, and I'm almost coming up. This is what's crazy. I got fired September the 10th, which is my birthday, a couple years ago. And on September the 1st, I am doing the show in Nashville while that radio station's probably struggling, you know, to get listeners. Same boring shit, same different day. Uh, we don't do that around here. We don't. And what's even cooler is the fact that a couple of days later, September the 6th or the 12th, me, some folks from social media, and some of my real good friends in music, they'd be my real good friends even if they wasn't in music. We're going to be in Panama City Beach from the 6th to the 12th, recording shows daily. Uh, There's probably going to be some songwriting, a whole lot of drinking going on, You know, maybe some nudity in my room anyway. Let's line that shit up. Uh, ain't nothing like some beach ass, you know what I'm saying? We'll get sand everywhere. You know what? Most of the time on here, a lot of people just like, you're just flirting with people. You're just trying to get laid. Look, I'm a single-ass man. If I want to try to get laid, I can try to get laid. If you don't like it, probably another show out there for you. But if anybody wants to contribute to my bullshit, you're more than welcome. Uh, But we do have a couple spaces open to go with us. You either can pay the full thing, which is like $300 a person, or you can buy a raffle ticket. 
through Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, just message me. And you got a chance to win an all expenses paid vacation. All expenses paid vacation to the beach with us. That means travel there, food and drink. Uh, your stay there, plus you get a plus one. We did this last year. It didn't go as planned. We ended up having to give the person who won uh, some money. We lost some money on their plane ticket. I believe their grandfather either had an accident or passed away when they were getting on the plane in Texas. I can't remember exactly what it was, but we're going to announce the winner next Friday. Uh, and we're supposed to do 200 entries because all the money goes to we're giving two thousand dollars to Mission Twenty Two. We're giving two thousand dollars to Project K Nine Hero, and hopefully we'll have enough left over to give two thousand dollars to Creative Vets after we pay for your trip and everything. So if you want to get one, you should message me now. Message me now uh, on Instagram and Snapchat at JL Terry eighty seven. Uh, I'm not going to do too much on this show. I'm just kind of salty because I got stood up. Um, look, if you're going to do a show with me and you're going to say that you're going to do something, let's, uh, let's fucking go through with it, okay? I'm not calling out no names, but uh, some people think they're too big for their britches just because I don't have a million followers or whatever on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. But I want to remind you, there's uh, the shows I get to do and people I get to be around that we would love to associate you with that we don't base their talent or their integrity or their morals or who they are in this life off of how many people follow your ass. So if that's what you're doing, well, once again, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I've tried to tell y'all, I'm not the nice guy that a lot of people think I am. I'm older, I'm bitter, I'm salty. I literally say what I think. Uh, I don't want to be a doormat to anybody anymore. If you piss me off, I'm going to get fucking mad. Don't mean I got to blast your name, but I can blast the situation. I'm just kind of over people thinking that they're better than they are. And in this case that I got stood up tonight, I don't even know why the fuck they would think that. Uh, but hey, I'm still going to watch their videos. I still think they're funny. Maybe it was a technical issue. I don't fucking know. Uh, I just know that I'm, if you, if you do me wrong and you don't at least give me an answer why, I'm just not fucking with you again. I don't get ghosted. I mean, I get ghosted, but once I do and I get them damn feelings hurt, I'm turning them motherfuckers off. But I just want to say thank you to the listener tonight. Thank you for everything because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be shit. I know I say that all the time, but the fact that I'm going to get my little 15 seconds, my two hours on stage at a bar that I absolutely love uh, in Nashville with my logo in the background on the on the big-ass screen, and it actually be like a little event, you know, based around the success of this show and you guys. That shit don't happen without y'all. Um, I'm not trying to get sentimental or anything. Uh, I am an asshole. I am very opinionated and can be rude and crude at times, but I'm grateful. I'm very grateful, and I'm blessed because of you guys. So I just want y'all to know that each and every one of y'all are in my prayers. Thank you for everything that y'all have done for me. Um, if you want to smaffle Rick it, I don't have to say that on here. I don't know why I did it. A raffle ticket. You can't say that on TikTok without getting banned. If any of you guys want one and a chance to go to the beach with us, let me know. Or if you just want to go to the beach with us and you want to pay what everybody else is paying, hit me up. As long as I know you and you want to be a part of some podcasts, some songwriting, some content that's being created while we're there, um, you know, maybe a little love making. Never know. Maybe some nasty shit too. Uh, you know, some of the people are going with us married, so I'm not going to say it's going to be a big nasty orgy or anything because it's not gonna be i actually think it's most dudes going besides for macy <laughs> macy i love you everybody's gonna be fighting for your attention in the house better bring a friend but anyway and if you are interested in riding the party bus and everything with us in nashville on september the first please contact uh nashville extreme Hold on, let me pull it back up because I don't want to mess anything up. There we go. Please contact Extreme Party Bus of Nashville. Um, they were on the show a couple weeks ago. They're awesome. Please do that. And uh, they're not, I told them, I asked them very nicely, please don't charge any more 
please don't charge any less than what you normally charge. We're not making any money off of it. We're just having fun with them that night. Uh, so I think they've got some opening spots for people to come ride and hang out and everything. It's not a meet and greet. I don't do that shit. Um, I'm not paying or charging anybody to fucking hang out with me. You want to come have a beer with me at Live Oak that day while we're recording? That's cool, too. You want to ride the party bus and get slammered with us? That's cool, too. Uh, I'm not important enough, and I'll never be important enough to charge people to come see me. You want to come hang out? That's cool with me. If you don't, that's also cool. Uh, we'll be out having a good time for the two days I'm up there in Nashville. Then if you're in PCB September the 6th through 12th, you better hit us up. It's going to get nasty. I turned 35 while we're there, and it's going to get weird. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I got to do some TikTok live shit. Uh, but since I got stood up, I had to put something out. And uh, hey, it's what it is. I love you, cats. I will see you later. Thank you for making my life special. All of your lives are special, too. If you're struggling with mental health issues or anything, please seek out help. You're not alone. Uh, if you just need somebody to talk to, feel free to message me, too, on Instagram and Snapchat at JLTerry87. Uh, all the stuff I do, it don't mean shit if we're not helping people. I love y'all. Y'all have a good day. Catch you next time. You could save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive, but when we just come out and say it, it feels like it falls a bit flat. So instead, we're going to hire a professional voice actor and pay him absurd amounts of money to say, I like this product. Hmm, not sure why that was better. I mean, I'm a professional too, but we didn't pay him to say the business part, so back to me. Save big when you bundle your home and auto with Progressive. Sorry, I know hearing me say it was a bit of a letdown. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discount not available in all states or situations.